Now we'll study simple pulley block constraint relations. You can simply say in pulley systems, these are developed by analyzing loosening and tightening of a strings due to motion of blocks. So just be careful about a pulley block system like we just talk about the simplest system which we can say there is a pulley on the two sides of which there are two blocks hanging. So these are A and B. We can simply state if A is going up by a distance X. So when A goes up by a distance X, the, the string on the left hand side of the pulley will get a slackened by a distance X. Then obviously due to the weight of B, it will fall down by the same distance X. So we can say if this is displaced by a distance Y, the value of Y is equals to X. Velocity of B is equals to velocity of A and acceleration of B is also equal to acceleration of A. In the similar situation, say we are having a pulley block system like this, where there is a pulley on one side of which there is a block A hanging. On other side, there is a movable pulley which is connected to the ceiling via the same string and another block B is hanging from this movable pulley. And say, if we are required to develop constraint relation between B and A, we can say if B goes down by X and say A will move up by Y. What a relation exists between Y and X, the same relation will exist between their velocities and accelerations. So we can say if B go down by distance X, this pulley will also come down by the same distance X as B is directly attached to this pulley. So if this pulley will come down by X, this string will be pulled twice of the length. That is, if pulley goes down by X, the string will be pulled X on this side, X on this side. As on this end, the pulley is tied up with the ceiling. The whole string which is increased over here, that is 2X will be provided by slackening of a string due to motion of A. So if A goes up by Y, why is the string which is transferred from left side of this pulley to the right side? As the total length is same, as the string is inextensible, we can simply say the y length of a string which comes on this side is providing this 2x length for tightening this string. So we can simply state here y is equals to 2x. So if we differentiate it, we can say velocity of block A is equals to twice the velocity of block B. Once again, if you differentiate, you'll get acceleration of block A is twice the acceleration of block B. In this manner, we develop constraint relation in pulley block systems. Let us consider one example based on the same concept. Here, we are given that a system, and in the system shown in figure, if block A moves upward at 3 meters per second, we are required to find the speed of block B. Now, just to find the speed of block B, first we relate the displacements of block A and B. Say block A goes up by a distance X and B comes down by a distance Y. This we just analyze and check what part of length of a string is getting loose and it is transferred to the other part of the pulley. Now, in this situation, if Block A is going up by distance X. You can see this is string which is directly connected to block A will move up by distance X and it is transferred to the other part of the other side of the pulley that is X. So if it is coming toward right by X, this pulley must move down by the same distance X. Due to this, due to this motion of pulley on the two sides of the pulley, the string will get loose by a distance 2X. And X is also coming due to the motion of block A. That means B will fall down by a distance X plus X plus X, it will be 3X. So total distance block B is coming down is Y and this Y can be written as 3X. Once again, let us analyze how this Y is equals to 3X. 
when block A goes up by X, this first string is transferred to the other side of pulley that is by length X, due to which this pulley will come down by a distance X. Due to this, the string which is passing over the second pulley will get loose by a distance 2X, X on this side, X on this side. Along with this, as block A goes up, X distance of a string will also lose due to the upward motion of A. The total loosening in this string will be 3X, because of which we can say block B will fall down by a distance 3X, hence we can write Y is equals to 3X. If we differentiate it, we can directly state velocity of block B can be written as 3 times the velocity of block A in opposite direction. So, as block A is going up at 3 meters per second, velocity of block B can be written as 9 meters per second in downward direction. This is the answer to this question.